Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, it's been a little while. I've been wanting to do a few videos that go into a little bit more detail about the things that I carry and why I carry them. I did a quick video, uh, I called it my everyday carry or my EDC, where I went over everything that I carry sort of in brief detail and cruised through the whole list just so you guys could get a picture of you know all the different things that I carry but there's been a lot of thought into why I carry those things and and those versions of those things in particular so I figured I would go ahead and go through each of them and kind of give you a little bit more background about why I chose that particular one so for this video I wanted to go through why I carry the Parker Jotter so the Parker Jotter is a simple stainless steel pen, uh, really, really clean body, uh, and it's pretty small overall. I'll show you a quick comparison to a Pilot G2 many people have seen before. It's a super popular pen, and uh, you know, it should give you a good idea of the size of this one. So the Parker Jotter it's just a slightly more stylized version of more or less your everyday pen. Um, it's got a nice sleek pocket clip. It sits pretty deep in the pocket. You can see it sits you know, up to there, which I really enjoy. It just It's not scratching on everything that way. Uh, speaking of, I like the clicky switch. Uh, I had a mixed opinion on clicky switches because sometimes they click on in your pocket and they, they stay that way and you don't realize that they've been clicked. Um, I don't find that to be too much of a problem because the spring is very, very stiff on this pen. Um, so I like that card a lot. I like that it's sturdy. You know, it's definitely uh, stands the test of time. And if you need it to like open a package, you know, so you don't carry a knife or something like that, maybe you're traveling, um, you know, it's stiff enough that it can hold up to that. You know, you can punch it through material pretty well. Um, and other than that, it's, you know, it's pretty straightforward. It's, it's stylish looking. Uh, it's simple, and uh, it, it's sort of a, like some other pens I've carried in the past. So I used to carry a Fellholter tie bolt, which had sort of a, a bolt action little mechanism on the side. That was a super cool pen until I lost it. And uh, all it takes is losing one or two expensive pens, and you realize that you want something a little bit more straightforward and a little bit more affordable. So after that, I went to some other sort of like tactical pens. And those are cool, but they looked a little bit intimidating. And I'll flash a couple pictures across the screen now so you can see some that I've had. Um, they often had, you know, sort of insignia on the clip that was uh, a little bit telling. Um, you know, Smith & Wesson and things like that, Schrade. You know, it just looked like I was looking for trouble. And one of the things that I like about this is that I can carry it on a plane, no problem. You know, it doesn't draw any attention, but it is still a metal-bodied pen for those who care about that sort of thing. Um, the inserts it takes are pretty standard. Uh, I use Parker Gel inserts myself. Um, I think you can get sort of space pen inserts uh, that fit the same mold, but I personally like the gel ones. I think they write really, really nicely. Now, I'm not... Uh, a super pen aficionado, I guess you could say. Uh, there are many people who spend a lot of time thinking about the ink type and you know the the head shape of the pen and things like that. I'm not one of those guys, but you can definitely find tons of information on that. I think those people would suggest that this is a pretty good starter pen. Um, if you're looking, you know, to step up from something like a Pilot G2, get a better pocket clip and uh, you know, really get a step in the right direction, this is a good way to go. For me, this is the final destination, uh, you know, unless for some reason I lose this and want to try something else in the meantime, but I have a few of these just in case I ever lose this one, so I guess once I get through the extras, then maybe I would consider just trying something else uh, for fun. But otherwise, this is it. Now, I mentioned briefly why I carry a pen in that video. It's changed a little bit. At first, I carried one because I also carried a notebook, and I liked to be able to sort of scribble down notes in that notebook. But nowadays, because I don't carry a notebook, 
it's more for sort of incidental writing, signing receipts. Uh, say I forget to bring a pen to a meeting at work or something like that. I have this one in my pocket and I don't have to, you know, run out of the meeting, go grab a pen somewhere. It's sort of unprofessional, especially if it's a client meeting. Uh, we have a lot of client facing meetings where I work and uh, to have this handy, you know, even if it's for a colleague, I can give this to him or her and uh, they're able then to not have to run and get a pen and it sort of keeps things professional. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Uh, it's Parker Jotter. That's why I carry it and, and why I carry a pen in general. Um, look out for other videos like this. I'm going to go through some of the other things I carry. Um, I'm not sure what will be next. I think maybe I will discuss my Spyderco Para 3 and we can go through that. Uh, in some detail and, and why I carry this knife in particular. So look out for that coming your way and uh, thanks for watching.